Hello everybody, my name is Fire Spirit and welcome back to more of the Walking Dead Telltale series season one. In the last episode, we escaped we went to a dairy farm and uh turns out they're uh they're can't they were cannibals. We unfortunately had to kill Larry because of uh because we didn't have any pills to save him from his heart attack. But this episode, we're getting on a train, I guess. Sick. Let's not waste any more time. Previously on The Walking Dead. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. You've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters. And you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Down, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it! No! <laughs> Sounds like a car. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. You're right. We shouldn't take this. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Don't worry, little girl. Bandit's got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. So that's what happened last episode. I should really stop talking about what happened last episode, but... Um, why, don't, why don't I just let the game do it, you know? Game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. As is every Telltale game ever. They're really good at that. I know they've been doing it for years, but damn. I'm not muted, am I? No. Looks like this is our lucky day. Huh, <laughs> that'd be a first. Yeah, maybe. They tend to take us by surprise. Yeah, well, the less I see, the happier I am. Where do you come down on staying or going? You mean, packing up the motel and getting in the RV? Yeah, we've been talking about it, but have you made up your mind yet? We should go. The motel's run its course, and it's not safe. You're damn right it has. We pile into the RV and don't pull over till we see water. And if Lily's dead set on staying, then, well, that's the way it goes. like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <laughs> Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. Got a point. I don't have to climb the ladder. Huh. Do I? I can 
push the jeep. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. Makes sense. Oh, this is the drugstore we were just in. What the hell happened? Hmm. What the f fuck happened? Did There's I no miss something? Way through that mess. How convenient. It's blocked. You can probably push the jeep over. Mm. Oh. Oh. Are we? Lily's not doing so good, huh? Well, we killed her dad. We did kill her dad. Go and pull it back. Excuse me? No, I did not want to do that. Change control. Your girl still upset with me for taking stuff out of that car last week? What do you think? Christ, I've heard your opinion. What's done is done. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. It was a scary situation for him, Sean dying and all. I'm just worried he'll always think it was his fault. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Okay. Ow! <sighs> Did that cause noise? What the hell happened? Thought you said you could handle it. God, you ever been shot before? I'm sorry. For Christ, you think you? <laughs> what the hell? No uh oh, it's saved. <laughs> Is that a walker? Walkers don't scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. It's a girl. We have to help her. How? There's no getting to her. We gotta do something. Fuck. We gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. I don't know we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive and she draws them all to her. Buying us time. Yeah, think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. Clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. Get, 
Move. Medicine box. Oh, there's a shit ton of stuff down here. Energy bar. Medicine. She's gone. There's not much time now. Okay. Okay. Got that. Got that. The supplies. Medicine box. There's nothing here. Shit. Energy bar. We got a lot of items. Fuck! Incoming! Come on, Lee! Up and over. We're still clear. Let's hustle. Jimmy! What? Come on, buddy! Come on, buddy! stuff been hit by bandits a lot of times You're back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. Aww. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks hey, like we got the kid Lily. on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. <laughs> so, what did you get? Just what was left. Which was a lot, actually. Take a look. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This'll keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here! Because piling into an RV with you two after what you did to my dad is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. Take a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. And we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. We have to go eventually, Lily. We don't have to do anything. You didn't want to go because of your dad's health. But he's gone now. Easy, Kenny. So, you two are, uh, having a disagreement? Cool it, Doug. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. It could be so much worse. When's the last time someone got bitten? Are you counting the St. John's? Jesus, Ben. We're all going a little nuts. But we can't tear each other apart. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need! Because of me, Lily. That's BS, Kenny. 
and you... We got plenty of food from that station wagon. You didn't even want to take it. Where the hell would we be now? We can't just keep our fingers crossed for more station wagons. Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? We got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. And you just let her suffer like what? Like bait? God, what is happening? She was dead anyway. It made the most sense in the moment. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers, and the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on Earth, and it's coming this way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing! And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day! Now everybody get out! Happy, Kenny? My family's alive and that RV is running. You goddamn right I am. Everyone is under great stress. Fair enough. She's right about one thing. None of this is getting any easier. She did mention that people were stealing uh, shit. Rough day, I guess. Yep, I've just been calling them days lately. I don't know what it is, but it's probably worth talking Fair to Lily about things going missing. Ever since her dad died, she's been a live wire. And now, if she's paranoid, that's a bad mix. Yeah. Jesus. Talk to Ben. Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? Did you ever come down here to Macon much? I didn't have much reason to. My parents would let me take the car into the city on the weekend, but what's in Macon? It's... Go up in Macon. Oh, I didn't mean to say it's crappy or anything. You just did. It's super nice. I mean, not now, but I bet it was. Is... <laughs> Have you seen anything weird on the watch? Is there anybody out there up to anything? Nope. Really quiet. Really? Yeah, totally. Which is good. That's not always good. You should know what do you that. think about Lily? She scares the crap out of me. That's a reasonable thing to feel. I'm just worried she's going to snap. Talk to you later, Ben. Bye. Yeah, I think that's all of us right now. Hey, Doug. Hiya. What are you working on? I'm just trying to focus on the wall. Anything I'd like to contribute needs batteries or tools I just don't have. I'm tearing down this furniture to patch up the wall. If we go on like this, we'll have half the Travelier piled up out here before we know it. The wall's important. I guess. I feel worthless on watch because I'm not wild about guns and I just wish I was more helpful. Hmm. Safety's always been a bit of an elusive thing for me. Where was the me. dialogue in I that I mean, one. at the motel, as opposed to finding somewhere new. I think if we can get whoever is out there to leave us alone, this is a good place to be. And you know, they sort of stopped attacking. Maybe they forgot about us. I highly doubt that. What do you that. think about Lily? Dark. I don't know. I guess I'm sad. Nobody deserves to lose their parent like that. You don't think that would make her... Delusional, do you? I think it could make you anything. Nothing good. I'll catch you later, Doug. I mean, I Sounds guess he's like got Kenny a point. actually has that thing running. I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> yeah, me too. Anything back here? No? There's nothing back here? 
What the hell? Uh, let's see. Actually, where's Clementine? Clem! What's up? Hey, Manny. you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? You guys, uh, trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah, we can't turn on each other any more than we have. About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. <sighs> but we need them. There's no doubt about that. You need to try harder with Lily. You guys gotta straighten this out. I don't know how straight we can get it, given all that's happened. So what then? Time will come, we'll have to do what's best for our families. And that's what we'll do. I'll talk to you later. Alright. Alright. Man. Were you talking to someone on the walkie before I came here? Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See? It's the same. Um, kind of. Ah, oh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Oh, thank you, Clementine. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah. That'd be a good thing to know. That's fair. Can't really argue that what one. What do you think about Doug? He's cool. Cool? He knows things. You don't think he seems down? Like sad? Yeah. Everyone is. You? I'm okay. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. I mean, I guess she has a point. Like... <laughs> like, a lot of people... Everyone is sad right now. Oh, I'm afraid to even go in. Alright. Uh, hey, Lily. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. And you came in here to confess? I'm not stealing shit. I came in here to help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. For real? Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. It counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count, and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. Thank you. If you don't find anything, I'm just going to assume it's you. Mystery. Right. Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, <laughs> what did and I, I can say? be Dick Grayson, your ward. 
That's Robin. I know who it is. <laughs> All right. You can help. Don't tell anybody. Secrecy. Yeah, good. <laughs> Secrecy. What do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. I know who that is. <laughs> Duck will help. All right. Do you Can't guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. Over by the ice machine. The flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, broke it, got worried and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Okay then. I don't know if I trust him. Hey, Let's check with everyone anyway. Hiya. Do you know anything about this flashlight? Well, I can tell Ooh, you... Wait, 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 wait. I know you know everything about this flashlight. I'm asking if you know how it got busted. Lily found it in the dumpster. Oh, no. No, I don't. I'll keep my eye out for some suitable parts, though. That'll give me something useful to do. Alright. At least he's looking for something to do, you know. There's some broken glass on the ground there. I wonder what would happen if I were to touch it. Yep, that's exactly. There's something drawn there. Yeah, an X. Hmm. Chalk. Pink. Hmm. Duck. A clue. Maybe. What do you think it is? I don't think it's anything. Maybe it's a sign. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back it's to the bright though. Well, that's the thing. It's bright though. Clementine, do you know where your pink chalk is? Clem. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Do, uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Psst, Lee. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was calling the scene for clues yeah, and... Yeah, Duck, I got it. Good job. He's helping. Cool. Doc thinks you are incredibly awesome. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> no words of wisdom. Uh, let's talk to you, actually. Have you found anything else? Just the chalk. I also found some bugs underneath the stairs. Don't tell Clementine. Okay, I won't. You didn't break the flashlight, did you, Duck? No, Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. Lily neither. That's probably for the best. <laughs> you seem to know a bit about all of this. The chalk? You found the scuff here? This is gonna sound crazy, but you're not involved, are you? No, I'm a good guy. 
Stay inside the gate. I will, I will. Alright, well, uh, anything over here? Alright. Oh, wait. I didn't even see that. Somebody was over here, too. See? I did good, huh? Yeah, Duck. You did. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. All right. Let's go out. So we can find. Those bandits gave us hell, but they've been quiet for days now. Good. Let's keep it that way. There's a grate down there. No shit. It's <clears throat> a bag under there. What the hell? Son of a bitch. Guess we found the supplies. You haven't come up with anything, have you? I came up with this. It's got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall. And there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. Yeah. Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. Somebody is killing Didn't you us. just say... Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. You die. What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we need? What the hell? You don't fucking steal from us! Who the fuck is that? Yo, we got our people out there! Out we ain't fucking around! What do we do? Oh Lily. shit! They're gonna start kicking indoors any second. Lily, what the hell are you- Stall him. What? Just keep him talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. You made the biggest mistake of your life! Shit. Enough of this bullshit! Drew, stop putting your boot to these doors! Yeah! Hold it, asshole! Take it easy. Why are you doing this? Just leave us the fuck alone! Why? This fucking guy. Why? Because we gotta! That's why! What will it take to reach a deal? About twice as much as you've been giving us. You got it. Done. Is that so? Well, I suppose we ought to hash out some terms then. I don't like no hash. Man, shut up, bro! Christ! Oh, shit! <gasps> nice! Oh, Help! 
traumatized! Kata, hang on! Where is he? He's hiding behind that man! Get your asses around behind! the RV. It's going to be okay. Go! Oh, Christ! Gotcha! Let me get oh. in the RV! Brewer, let her stay! Please, Walker! Kenny, hurry up with that thing! The right bell! I gotta do that again. I'm not having the best of luck with him. Walker! Shit! Kenny, hurry up with that thing! Watch the right! Jesus, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I'm sorry. Calm down. We need to figure out why this happened. Nobody died. We're okay, right? Katya, you're okay? We just lost everything. But we have our health. Cat's head is split open. I'm fine. Somebody in here caused this. Settle down back there. The bandits have had our number for weeks. This is different. Somebody was working with them. Whoever it was was slipping them our meds. They didn't get their last package, so they attacked. Calm down back there. That's nuts. Lee found a bag of supplies hidden outside the wall. It's true. So, Ben, I think we need to talk. Whoa, what? Lily, let's think about this logically, no? Logically? The new guy who could have easily been a plant? I think that's pretty logical, Doug. You think I'd do anything to hurt you guys? Don't play dumb. Were you hoping they'd eventually kill us all and you could join them? Ben's a good guy. Totally! Well then who? Being a good guy is enough to clear your name on I this? I didn't do it! Really honest! I know I don't get wrapped up in the politics around here, but we really need to think before we start stringing somebody up. Doug, I appreciate your concern, but we have all the evidence we need. Doug's right. Let's just get on down the road. We can talk this out like adults. Why give someone who almost killed us the opportunity? Lee, you know what we found. Just let me out of the car. I'll go. I didn't do it, but I'll go. Good. That sounds great. Lily, look at him. I... Fuck. Jesus, I didn't. Look me in the eyes and tell me you didn't have anything to do with it. I... Shit! What's going on up there? I hit something. We gotta stop. All right, well... We can deal with this now, then. Kitty, is it Jesus. safe? Should be. Everybody out. Lily? Out. Come the fuck on. K, 
Kenny, the RV has some surface damage, but there's a walker trapped underneath. God damn it. Everyone keep your eyes peeled. You know what? We shouldn't just kick you out. We should hear what everybody thinks. You should chill out. Please, look, it wasn't me. Please stop accusing me. I'm really sorry you're upset, Ben. Just tell us you did it. No way it was Ben. It was somebody else. Could have even been someone sneaking into our camp. That's ridiculous. That's what you think? Yes. Okay, fine then. Kenny? I don't know. Fuck. Just stop, would you? Well, your vote counts for you and Katja. We don't need all these votes. What do I have to do for you to trust me? I'll do anything. I'll, I'll do watches for months. Ha, huh, the hell you will. He's broken, Lily. I can see that. Do we need any more evidence than this? Evidence or not, this isn't any way to treat one of us. I've heard enough out of you, okay, Doug? Kenny, what's it gonna be? Just give me a damn minute. Ben, you have until Kenny kills that walker to tell me it was you. No! Ben! Lily! This is about trust, ben. and I've never Holy trusted shit. you. Lily, lay off. I can't leave. You know I Please can't. Please stop. Please don't kick me out of the group. We won't. Tell me. Now. Please, let's just get back in That's the That's not happening. I can't handle this. There. I got him. Now, what the fuck's the problem? Ben! No! Doug! Drop it! Holy fuck. Kenny! What's happening? Keep duck away from the windows! Jesus Christ! Get in! We're leaving this crazy bitch! I didn't mean to. It wasn't supposed to be him. What are we gonna do with her? Leave her for the walkers. You're not coming with us. I'll die out here. I don't care. You're a murderer, Lily. We can't have you with us. I'm a murderer? You've had Lee with you this whole time. What are you talking about? He didn't tell you. He killed someone before all of this. He was a convicted murderer. Is that true, Lee? Yes. Fucking hell. Were you ever gonna get around to telling me that? You got a little girl with you. To hell with it. Get in, Lee. Let's go, you guys. I don't have anything left. Lee, a word, please? Yeah, sure. What's up? Is Duck feeling all right? What the fuck? No! Happened during the raid. No! What's the plan? We've never had a bite victim in the group before. I'm going to keep an eye on him and see what I can do from a medical perspective. We keep the same plan unless something changes. East. Guys. What else is there to do? We thought you should know. Not that you've ever afforded us that type of luxury. Anyway, if you could tell Clementine, we would appreciate it. Duck is bitten. Huh? 
He got bit by a walker trying to escape the motel. I... don't feel good. What about Doug? There was no time for a burial. Walkers? Yeah. Horrible. So what's up, buggers? Too. I heard you outside my treehouse that day and thought about dropping a hammer on your head. Thank God you didn't. What? Why? In case you were up to no good. Before you what? Knew, there was this other guy. He was yelling and trying to get into my house. He wanted to take the TV and tried to break the glass door with a rock. Then some walkers came and scared him away. The door was open. He was dumb. <laughs> he was dumb. Something up ahead. It was all just a dream. The fuck? It's fine. Damn it. Roads blocked. Uh, what? Now we gotta deal with this. Oh my god. Was that a train I just saw? Yes, it was! Holy shit! Oh, that's, uh, that's not great, though. Ooh. Is there any way to get around it? Doesn't look like Trust it. Trust me, I... On foot, maybe. Trust me, I know. Can't really afford to do that now. I've played, this I've played seems through like the a safe first area. and second season. Well, this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us. Anything after season three, I don't know. Why don't you and I go look around? Yeah, everyone else relax. Claire, stay close to Kenny and Cat, okay? Lee, if you come across anything to drink, uh, if there's a dining car or something, I think Duck's a bit dehydrated. It's a freighter, hon. Be careful in there. What? You think there might be something dangerous inside an abandoned locomotive? That didn't cross my mind. Tch. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I, was, I saw you were playing the, uh, the Batman one. I played, like, the first episode, I think. From what I remember. Oh, he was at the DMV was today? Was it you? Go for him. Not this again. Was it? No! Okay, then. What would you have done with Libby? I don't know. Left her? I've never seen anybody kill someone like that before. Yeah, you've seen a bunch of other stuff by now. Yeah, but not like that. Got your IDs? Oh, so, that, so does that mean you can start working now? You, uh... Happy you stayed with us all this time? Yeah. Really? It's with you guys or dead. I would have died out there in the woods. Just like my classmates. You think this is better? Yeah, of course. Ah, fair enough. Alright. Let's open the... Let's open this. Gone? I hope so. 
But this looks recently used. Be on the lookout and have your guard up. Hey, if you looked stoned in that photo, just, you better look stoned when you get pulled over. Just saying. Map. A map of where the train goes. I think these tracks might lead to the coast. Route 27, Savannah. That's where Kenny's got us headed. Perfect. Why the fuck are we still using the RV then? I'll take this to catch. Water. For duck. Yeah. Uh, anything else I can mess with? <laughs> uh, what's up here? Engine compartment. I don't expect us to work. Nothing. I didn't think so. Uh, anything else I can look at here? No? No. Is there a problem, officer? Looks at you and then the card. And back to you. It's like, have you been smoking? Does it look like I've been smoking? I guess not. Have a good day, sir. <laughs> uh. Wait, why did I pick? Ah, oh, I don't. Okay. I do have that at least, but uh, I can only have one at a time, can I? Yeah, I thought so. All right, let's back out of this. Yes, yes I have. Are you sure? This doesn't look like your eye. Oh, trust me. I am. What, what was that Gabriel Iglesias joke? When he, when he gets pulled over and his friend apparently has drugs in, on him. It's like, thank god he didn't find the weed. What, what what was that joke? I really I really wish I remembered. Shit. We got one. Walker, sitting in the chair. We got him. See you, buddy. We gotta look him over. Yeah. Jeez. I don't think this guy came back. Christ. I don't think so either. That light is blinking. Push it. Push it. Why not? Are you fucking serious? Here, look. <laughs> it's just the brakes. Okay, I'll give you that one. This fucker works? <laughs> Seems like it. I'll be damned. How the hell do we get it moving? I don't know. Ask Mr. Amtrak over here. No clue. We found this in the boxcar back there. Whoa, is this what it looks like? I think so. This horse will take us right to Savannah. A hundred tons of steel. Put a thousand walkers between us and the ocean, and we don't have to give a shit. I can't believe it. Just have to figure out how to get it started. I'm sure we can figure it out. How tough could it be? Doug would have known, but we'll figure it out. That's the spirit. Ben, if you could keep an eye on the girls and Duck, I'd appreciate it. I'm gonna make sense of these controls. Man, this could be exactly what we need. Hey, Ken. What's up? You want to talk about Duck? I'm really sorry, Kenny. 
Nobody deserves this. There's nothing to talk about. You heard Cat. He could be fine. We probably shouldn't ignore it. Nobody's ignoring nothing. I'm not worried. You shouldn't be either. God, we need some help getting this train going. People take notes, right, when working on stuff like this? Uh, we're smart guys. We can figure it out. I don't know about leaving Lily back there. Abandoning someone on the side of the road is the same as murder. Don't worry about it. We just would have had to deal with her eventually. I'll get back to it. Me too. A bunch of maps Mapping. about Georgia's cities. Nothing about the train. I, I do need to give the water to Duck. So I'm going to do that. Hey, gotcha. I got you some water. Here, found some water. Oh, thank you. Perfect. He's allergic to bees. Is that right? That's all I can keep thinking about. Like, somehow that matters. It doesn't. I know. Well, I don't. But you're probably right. Still trying, though. Well, I got no idea how to get the engine started. That guy in the cab probably knew. Yeah, well, he isn't talking. Well, he had to learn it somewhere. Got a point. Hey, sweet pea. You okay out here? I don't think Duck feels good. Uh, me neither. I wonder if there's anything else in here. Or can I go to the other side? I can't. Derailed. Yeah, Jesus. It's stuck. I can definitely pry this thing free. If I can break it loose first. Break it loose first. There's got to be a better way to do this. Shit. Broken. Hmm. I would assume I need a different... Uh... Different wrench or something. Box car door. All right, let's go back over here. Yeah, it was the second one, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it was. I bet this is what I need. Alright, let's go back and try it. I wish I could take both. Or all of them, really. It'd all be good weapons to have. If I'm being honest. I don't know why I got down, but it's fine. Alright, let's try this again, though. We need a bunch of force to break away all this rust and whatnot before I can pry anything free. So we need a bunch of weight, huh? Okay. Alright, well, uh, that's rather unfortunate. Is there anything back here or whatever I can use?
wonder if I could... Oh. Have you heard or seen anything out here? No sign of whatever lives in the train. Keep it down, I don't want you scaring the kids. Yeah, let's avoid doing that, shall we? Let's see what's in the RV. Uh, let's see. Console. Alright, nothing to say about that. Pants. I bet we could do something with that. I guess. Um, let's see. Alright, let's go back out. Maybe we could give the pencil to Kenny. For the, for the map and stuff. I don't know. Could I give it to Clem? No, I can't even give it to her. Okay. Well, uh, let's go back up. And let's give this to Kenny. See if this does anything. We got a problem. What? We still got the rest of the train attached to us back there. Shit. I tried to yank the pin out, but it won't budge. Well, we ain't going anywhere until it does. That's rather unfortunate. Nothing about the train. Shit, okay, that's this is it. Instructions on starting the engine. Damn, pages are gone. I can kind of see the indentations from the writing. Perfect. Perfect. You can read it now. Yeah, should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. All right, so down, down, up, 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 down, up. Okay. No, I don't want to leave. God damn it! Go back. Lee, what is wrong with you? Alright, let's mess with this. Alright, so... Wait, hold on. I need to check it again. Down, down, up, up. Okay. My bad. No, I didn't mean to do that one. That one off. That one off. This one up. This one up. Uh, this one. And then this one. Son of a bitch! Whatever you did, lit the dash up! So far, so good. Alright, um... So, five... The left dial needs to be turned. And then nine needs to be turned left and then right. Okay, so five, where's five? Now we're talking. There we go. Uh, and then nine, 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 nine. Oh, wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. Thank, thank God they're all labeled, you know. I believe it's this one? Left. And then right. Holy shit! We're golden! This thing is loud. So what? We're barreling down the tracks at 40 miles an hour. I don't care about the noise. Let's fucking enjoy this. Yeah, I suppose it's fair. Mom, let's see if she'll move. It's not going to move. Yours. Damn it. Of course. We're 
still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck and get us unstuck? Yeah. Sure thing. I think we already know where it is anyway, but I mean, all right. Down this way. There. Hey, Kenny, we're loose. Touch any of my stuff. Hi. I took the map of the train routes. That's fine. You can have that. Really? Yeah. I got them all right up here. I guess it's no worse for wear. Name's Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. That your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab? Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking out. I got you didn't because I have a gun. Train folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warmed to me right quick in direct sunlight. You met Chuck. Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy for Ben, too. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. You met Kitty? Sure did. Man shares my love of the... That's for certain. All right. I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. Hey, it's still something I'd like say. To do the same. Why don't we hold off on that? Uh... Stay with us. We'd like the company. Chuck. Howdy. Where are you from? You live around here? Georgia boy. You saw where I live. Why are you alone? Why not? Seem to be doing all right. Fine, then. I mean, I guess he's got a point. I'm sorry. I do like being around y'all, actually. It's nice. You caught us on a bad day. Mm. You still got a couple of kids, and this one's got a good spirit. That's some kind of something. I'll talk to you later. Hope so. I'll definitely say. Hey, sweet. Dr. Clementine. That candy Chuck gave you. It taste okay? It was really good. No funny aftertaste? No. Train's cool, huh? I guess. Scary, kind of. No. There's nothing to be scared of. Don't worry. <clears throat> so that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. All right. Want to ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. 
I'm fine. Anything <laughs> better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. Oh, jeez. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. Is the train really a good idea with Duck like that? Maybe we should focus on one thing at a time. Yes. What can we do here? We get on the train and we find something better. That is the plan. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through! Get on, Cat. I'll be up front. Jesus. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going. All right. Gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. There were more of us. Dad, get them. Yes. Oh, it's a shame. Lee! Lee, <clears throat> I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's up? Could you get that off his face? My hands are full here. Thank you. Could you just get that off his face, please? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Eddie, I'm really sorry, man. Kenny, you need to stop the train. off me I'm, I'm sorry I just want to talk we got to stop this train because cat needs you Kenny duck doesn't have much time left he'll be fine Katja needs you Kenny duck will be fine I'm sorry I shouldn't talk like that right now go back there and tell my wife everything will be fine what is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. You're in denial. And you've given up on Duck, on everyone. Stop it, goddammit. Fuck you, Lee. You're gonna listen. Or what? wrong with you but you need to lock it up be a man here oh you want a piece of me is that it I just want to talk Ken. relax then talk you think you're the reason duck was bitten 
Like you had this coming or something? You didn't kill Herschel's son. Yes, I did. And now it's catching up to me. That's not what went down. You looked out for your kid. And a bad thing happened to someone else's. There ain't no way this world lets my son live when I help put someone else's in the ground. That's not the way it works. You know that. Stop the train, man. Sorry, Kenny. Before we continue on, I'm going to quickly go to the bathroom. Sorry about that. I have returned, and we are ready to continue. Apologies, I was in the bathroom. Ken, it's... I think it's time. The boy's been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. Take as long as you need. There ain't no time left to take. What are we gonna do? Well, we Mac, can't good allow to be back. him to become one of those things. But what if, what if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. Kenny, I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But no. There's... I'm sorry, Kenny. Come on, Cap. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Can just drift no. off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Oh, fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. I'll do it. No. It should be apparent. No parent should have to do something like this. Please, right, Cat. My God. We can say our goodbyes and just let that be it. I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this family a great service. Why don't we take him into the forest so Clementine doesn't have to see? Yeah. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course. This is so sad to watch. 
I know I've already played through this, but this is so sad to watch every time. I'm gonna make sure he's okay. But how? He's bitten. By making sure he doesn't come back. Oh. Look, Clem. Things are... What the... No! Ben, take Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine. What? What happened? Cat! Cat! Gotcha! No! No! Also, Why? I'm using a new Cat. mic and nobody has told me if I sound oh, okay, so hopefully no. I'm alright. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's a terrible sad moment. What the hell happened? What did you- She could- She- 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 Oh, oh, oh fuck! Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. I'm sorry, Duck. Oh my god, that's so sad. with you Chuck hey how you doing I don't care what reasons you had for doing it no reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead because she is excuse you? About you folks but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow that y'all keep going on like this and that girl ain't gonna make it what do you know 
I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? We find a boat. You think that's a new idea? You got even the foggiest idea about where you're gonna find one of those. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. I'm not a barber. It ain't gotta be styled, Jesus. You gotta run around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack, and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun, because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. Okay. Explain to her how they work, and not to be afraid. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job, but too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plan, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. You have any family? Out there. Somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. Sorry to hear that. No one to blame. That's depressing to hear. You're homeless then? Eh, suppose. I've had homes here and there, and they just don't work out. I like a drink, you know? Yeah. Got any? No. Darn. Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean when we get to Savannah. Got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there, about whether or not you folks want company. I shot the kid, you know. I suppose someone had to. What a mess. You said it. Be safe up here. You betcha. All right, let's go back. Man, how you doing? Hey. <clears throat> Doug saved your life, you know. I know, I know. I don't know if I can go on like this, man. Well, you're gonna. That's just the way it is. Got a point. Aren't many of us left. Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude if he sticks around. We're all homeless. You know what I mean. There's not much use in describing people by who they were. Yeah, I guess not. See you. Yeah. All right. How would you look at that? There's alcohol right there. Backpack. Said he's got a pair of scissors in there, so may as well get it. They look clean enough. Clean enough. He's lived here a while. Hey, Clint. Clint? Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh... He explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you. But there are some precautions we have to take. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay. What should we do? You should or shoot? Well, I'm definitely going to. Plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and uh, tidy up a little so you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. You need to learn to protect yourself. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean, with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. 
It'll get stronger. Out. Hey, you look right I was down the say, top through that. I would notch. imagine it is. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? I know these are just bottles, but you have to aim for the head. I know. Only the head. Unless it's not a walker and it's someone trying to hurt you. And then? Head or body. Anywhere. I don't want to think about that. You're right. It might be a lot for your first day. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Look at that. There's just a random bottle there. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. <laughs> you okay? Hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Close. Now keep it steady. Okay, a little higher. There you I go. Got it. Excellent. Good nice. shot. Okay, aim a little bit more to the left. Aim a little higher. Oops. I'm stupid, my god. A little bit more to the left. Left. Aim lower. And lower. Oh Pick my god. Right. Steady and now. keep it steady. Almost got it. There you go. Nice. <laughs> Why am I so dumb? Oh my god. All right. I did it! Yeah, you did. Nice. Good job. I just pretended they were walker heads. Good. Just like you should. Good. They're not walkers, though. No. Far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay. I feel good. <laughs> not so scary, huh? Nuh-uh. Nice. Hold on, Clementine. Talk Clementine to protect yourself. Hell yes. Oh, we got a cut out here. Hi. So you're probably not gonna like this. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? <laughs> Are you saying it smells? No. Because it does. <laughs> Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it, and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. <sighs> okay. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mope. It's a good thing. I'm sure there will be a walker for her to shoot soon enough. Do you know enough. how to do this? How hard can it be? I'm going to look like a boy. Shush now. <laughs> so you did kill someone before. Yeah. You could have just told me. I wouldn't have been afraid of you or anything. Yeah, I'm sorry. You've killed lots of things now doesn't even matter. I guess she's got a point. <laughs> Killing is bad no matter what. But you can do it now to protect yourself. And to protect me. Doesn't make it good. But you have to. 
I do it because it's necessary. Walkers aren't people. Okay, I think I'm about done. I can probably tear these pieces back with something. Here, I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. There, all set. Does it look dumb? <laughs> no, you look cute. And a lot harder to grab. Clementine's hair is a lot safer now. It's a fifth of whiskey. A fifth of whiskey. I hope we're not on this train much longer. Alright. To look mature. You're damn right. Alright. Kenny? You want some whiskey? Kenny? You good, boy? You and me? Oh, what the fuck? Me. Oh, fuck it. Let's just get to the ocean. Kenny said, I don't blame him. I wanted to talk to you about keeping my past from you all. You told us it was your parents' store back in Macon. That was enough personal information. I'm sure can't be, uh, okay with you. So forget it. Okay. Jesus. Hey. Yeah? Are there any maps up here? I don't know. I just uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land once we get to Savannah. Mind if I get by you for a second, Kitty? Can you just leave me alone? You still want to get a boat? It's still the best plan. Care. It's the best plan. Alright. I found this if you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? Nah, I'm fine. Suit yourself. Mm. Anybody in there want to share a drink? You let them know. Will do. I think Candy would like a drink. I wouldn't blame him. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some? Yeah. Yeah, that'd help. Alright, let's take the map then. Alright. Um Thanks. Hey Ben. Hey. See you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I guess that, that happened. Me. Huh? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? Excuse you? It's all my fault. I could kill you. I... I... Nobody can see us. I could toss you over right now and be done with it. No! I... Lee, please! Why shouldn't I? They said they had my friend! I didn't know what to do! Lee, please! I had to tell someone. I bet you did. Jesus. Yeah, no kidding.
Jesus. Hey, Clint. Hi. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're gonna do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. Yeah. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. You need to know if they're okay. Well, if they're not, what happened to them? I'm sure they're okay. Don't get your hopes up. Let's look at the map. If we can figure out where they were, we can start there. Okay, let's. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. Now we've got a good chunk of Savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm. Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. A lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the... M... M... something... Mar. Is this it? The house? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I tell my parents? You know. Clem, come on. That's not a good idea. You can't tell me what to do. Clementine. I don't want to talk about it anymore. All right. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad God we have damn. a plan. And you're a good little shot. Thanks. I guess we should see how far. Oh shit! Hold on, everybody! What the hell happened? Fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm. I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. That thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Yo! You keep screaming like that, and you're gonna get your face chewed off. Are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. No, we're friendly! Put your hand down, kid. That's what everybody says. We know. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. <laughs> it's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there. We won't let them escape. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Alright. I guess that's fair. Alright. Fuck come back. up there. Let's go up. You better not be murderers or thieves. I guess you'll have to find out. Eh, it's comforting. A group of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now, what about when... Stop it. Hey, dude, I'm Omid. Lee. Krista, what's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. Hey, I'm not gonna bullshit you. Our group is a little fucked right now. We had a bite victim, then his mom took her life, and before that, just... It's okay. Oh, shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been yeah. since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? Clementine. 
Oh, so he gets to swear. Oh, this is great. See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? I came across Clementine alone. First day all of this happened. I was actually incarcerated. Sick. Do you have any prison tats? I, uh, didn't make it that far. <laughs> and everybody down there, they're cool? Kenny lost his wife and kid. Man, how long ago? What time is it? Like, I don't know, uh, four? Maybe two hours ago. God damn. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. A train is awesome, though. A tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it. But if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road. Alone. We'd appreciate the help. You can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. Alright. That's Jen right. Damn. Folks probably had their way with that van a while ago. Probably. Let's see what's in it, though. Search the truck. That's about the only useful thing in here. <laughs> All right, we got tape, I guess. All right. Uh, is there anything up here? Don't look it. There's no yeah, way I'm pulling anything do apart anyway. down there. Yeah, I didn't think so. Can't talk to Clem. So let's go back down. Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes. Like I said, it's been a bit of a day. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we're not looking for charity. The plan is to cut that tanker down and be on our way. Seems like plan enough to me. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens. Really, Ken? It's probably for the best. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. Uh, well, why don't we go and take a look at it, then? Let's go to the train station. Can I follow you over there? You don't like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Yeah, all right. Come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station, all right? Hustle over if you hear anything. Let's go check out this train station, shall we? Survivors inside. I don't think that's true anymore. Somebody must have been pretty desperate. Yeah. He's just gonna look at all of them, then I'm not gonna look at all of them. He doesn't even say anything. I'm not gonna look at all of them. Alright. What is over here, though? Hmm. Sign. Oh, delightful. Oh, we obviously can't get in there. You should wait for me before trying to open doors. Sorry. Uh, luckily, it's locked. We'll get better at working together. <laughs> you definitely will. Uh, <coughs> might as well. Mm, won't burn. Oh, well. Uh, forklift. Doesn't look like that thing's worked in years. I don't know. Oh, hello. The window's open up there. 
Maybe I could look in? Do you want to? We'll have to find a way in. Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Sounds good. Ugh. Okay, I can see in. What do I do now? What do you see? Lots of crates and stuff. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock, which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. For real? I think so. <laughs> How the hell did you well, reach be... that? What the fuck? Let's go. Be careful. I'm supposed to tell you that. <laughs> the thanks, Clem. God damn, it's dark in here. Maybe I can hold the door open? I don't like that. I'll prop it open with something. I guess that works. Good door. Good. Damn. So I'd imagine the keys are probably somewhere over here or something. Why can I not look at the damn desk? What the fuck? That's exactly what we need. Over there? Yeah. We need to get in there and get that blowtorch. Why do they have a blowtorch? They didn't have much business back then. I don't imagine not. There are keys over there. For the gate? I hope so. It's just one key. Alright, so... How the hell do I... Oh, hello. There's some space up there, but not much. We're lucky I'm so little. Yeah, we are. <laughs> sure you want to do that again? You okay going over the top of this fence? Yeah, definitely. The keys are on the opposite wall. Grab him and let's get this gate open. <laughs> Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Come on, scoot. Behind you! Okay, it's okay. Everything's fine. No need to fire the gun. Whew. All right. Keys now. What? Give me the keys. Fuck, still locked. No shit. so good no it did not go so good but we're okay yeah, it's a good thing she learned it's how to okay shoot. Oof. what's going on I thought I heard a gunshot we're fine we found some walkers you and an eight-year-old versus three of them huh Yeah, it looks like. What if you hadn't? I'm gonna go make sure Watch the noise don't cause us any problems. That's a good idea. Uh, 
I hope you know what you're doing yeah. with her. We're still alive, are we? Yeah, you are. Leave us alone. God damn. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm a little shaky. It'll pass. It'll be okay. We got it. Let's go outside now. What did we learn? I'm not ready for a gun. We learned not to be afraid. They should have got us. But we got them. Yeah, you're right. Fear is the thing that will kill us. You understand? Nice. Wait, did I just... I fit that thing in my pocket. What the fuck? I fit a fucking blowtorch in my back pocket. There's gotta be something what? useful in here. Yeah, well, I don't look at it. I feel like that should not have happened. I feel like they should have at least, like, kept it in his hand. Or I found something. a blowtorch in the station. Should make quick work of the coupling up there. Excellent. <laughs> Squeeze inside the ass. Excellent. I'll come up there with you to have a look. How do you think ga video game characters have s have such an expansive bag? They squeeze it up that ass of theirs. <laughs> That's the secret. That's the secret video game designers don't want us to know. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> uh, Alright. Let's do this. The hose has a leak in it. Turn it off, dude. I, I don't want my eyebrows burned off. Better plug that leak with something. Oh, well, would you look at that? I got the tape for it. Hope this holds. How did you know where the leak was? Whatever. That's crazy. Look at it go. Just about got it. Thanks. No sweat, man. This thing is hanging by a Jeez. thread. The smallest cut and it'll go. Shouldn't we probably take the gas out of it first? Before we even do something like that? Or... Like... Uh, I mean... Come on, like... I feel like this is stupid, but we I'm gonna do it anyways. It damn it, oh, God damn it's just it. about okay. done too. Crap. Here, the weak portion of the coupling's out of my reach. You think it'll be within mine? <laughs> no, but I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. The hell you are. Relax. <laughs> you son of a bitch, aren't you? Shut up and start cutting. Uh oh. That's a lot of Guys! There's something coming! What the what? There must be thousands. We gotta go! Fuck! Omi! Cut! Cut! I am! It's going! Pull me up! This works. Holy crap! Oh, 
We gotta jump! What? No way! Oh me, we don't have a choice! Jump! No! Jump, damn it! Still no! Fine! Broken leg, pal. I know, right? Like, come on. Like, she's fine compared that to you. A lot. Yeah. Are you hurt? No, we're okay. Speak for yourself. My leg is fucked. We're fine, Clementine. We're fine. Jesus Christ. Yeah, right. It's a drawing for Kenny and his family. Oh. Stop the Atlantic. Hey, Kenny. You want the picture? We're finding Clementine's parents when we get there. I thought they were dead. Looking for them there. That's not the plan. Well, it's ours. She and I talked it through. You'll be all right. I'll be alive, I guess. Blood in my heart. Blood in my brain, at least. I'll leave you to your thoughts. She's out cold like I've never seen. Excuse me? What the? Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need... Holy shit. I thought that fucking thing was broken. So did I. Who the fuck was that? If he's convinced Clementine that he has her parents... Y'all might want to rethink your plan. Who the fuck? Excuse you! Next time on The Walking Dead. We're almost at the river. You wanna get on a boat? You wanna wait around till the walkers figure out we're here? I know I promised that we'd find your parents. But Savannah's more dangerous than I thought it would be. I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. If his leg gets any worse, we're gonna have to carry him. Or leave him. If I were you, I'd get out of the street, now! Who the hell is this? Answer me, damn it! So when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Who have you been talking to? You come back here, I'll kill you! You understand? I will kill you! I am definitely not playing all this in one day. Around every corner. Uh, you and 59% of players did not shoot her. You and 45% of players left her. Left Lily. 
Forty-five percent of players talked him down. Did you shoot Duck? You and eighty-one percent of players shot him. Oh, Jesus Christ! Did you help Omid? You and sixty percent of players helped Omid. I mean, he was the one with the broken leg. I mean, come on. Oh. All right. Wow. That was this episode of The Walking Dead. Thank you all so much for joining me for this episode. This is a really fun episode. A lot of uh, a lot of dark things happened this time. And he lost his entire family in one episode. We found out that uh, Clementine's been talking to someone on the radio. And she didn't exactly tell us, which is concerning. But, that will be all for this episode. Uh, thank you all so much for joining me. And, uh, next week, we will be playing episode 4. Next week, or next Thursday. Tomorrow, however, I will be playing more Mon Monster Sanctuary. I believe we are going to be going back to the Keeper Stronghold and continuing the story. Uh, continuing the story from there. Where am I? I don't like the way you asked that question. Time zone? Uh, I am in Eastern... On the Eastern Coast. So right now it is like 11.08 for me. In the morning. <laughs> don't worry about it. But uh, this is a this is a fun episode to play. We made a lot of tough decisions this time around. We left um, we left Lily behind. We lost Doug. But I don't want to end it on a sad note. So next time on The Walking Dead, we'll be continuing on to episode four. Around every corner. And is the one you should have killed? Well, we didn't exactly have a choice now, did we? But, anyway, thank you all so much for joining me for this episode. If you like what you saw here, be sure to leave a follow. All your support is much appreciated. Anyway, thank you all so much for joining me for this episode. And as always, I will see you in the next stream. Later!